tiny taste of fall and then we get it stronger and stronger moving into October as we get our different fronts moving through with a progressively cooler air from farther north. Tropical outlook. We have a couple of waves we're watching. Odette is now a post tropical system, so no longer officially a tropical storm, but it is going to eventually bring some rain and wind as it kind of passes south of Newfoundland. These are the two spots that we're watching now. Pretty high chance of development for these two. But just to kind of show you, first of all, where these might be heading, we'll watch this one. This one could soon be tropical storm Peter. It looks like most models right now kind of take it curving it to the north rather early in the game, possibly even before it really reaches some of the Caribbean islands and before it gets close to the US. So we will see about that. It's still very early, but that's what the models are showing right now. And the long range models for this one have it kind of moving farther north even earlier. So finding these weaknesses to kind of curve earlier than when they get all the way over to the Caribbean or to the Gulf. So this could be a good thing. At this point in the Gulf of Mexico, we have no threats. Just looking quickly at hurricane season this, so far this year, 15 named storms, six hurricanes, three major. Now this point in the season last year, we had gotten to 21 named storms. And just looking quickly at this season's forecast, the forecast for the whole season from NOAA is 15 to 21 named, named storms, 7 to 10 hurricanes. So look at this. We're starting to pretty much fill out these seasonal forecasts, meaning all the way through November 30th. So hopefully we'll be kind of winding things down as we are past the peak and heading hopefully to some kind of quieter tropical weather. Loving that front at the end of the week. I hope you like it too.